I'm Laura Ray, and today we're going to be testing out some new makeup to see if it's mature friendly. This is going to be a wear test. I have a very long school day ahead. I am, let's see, four days from retirement as of the making of this video. By the time you see it, I'll be retired. And there's so much going on today, so I will have a good wear test for you, that's for sure. Let's start out with something I'm super excited about, and that's this foundation. It's actually a dewy skin tint from MAC. I love MAC products, and it's their strobe dewy skin tint, and I bought the shade Medium 2. Now, I don't want to do too much with my bangs here because I got a nice little swoop going, so I'm just going to pin back this one side while I put it on. This has a nice texture to it, it looks like. It's got some thinness to it, but not super thin. It looks like good pigment. Now, I'm not going to mix any setting spray or anything today. I just want to see how this will do on its own, and I do have a powder I want to try today. So, it looks like this is a really good shade match. Now, I want to tell you right now, I already do have on sunscreen. So I applied that about 20 minutes ago, and that's dried down now. Oh, I'm loving this. This is looking great. Now, the sponge I'm using was sent to me. The rest of everything I purchased myself. This sponge is from Refer, and it's latex-free. I like the feel of the sponge, too. It's very bouncy. Right now, I have it a little damp. And the reason I've been using a sponge lately was I was having some issues with my makeup puddling in the pores. And a lot of you have written me about that. And so I thought maybe I'm getting just too much product on. Maybe I need to thin it out a little bit. So I started trying a sponge again and I've been really happy. I am just loving this formula. It feels lightweight on the skin. You can definitely see a dewiness to it. I'm loving this shirt I got. I picked this up at an outlet store. They have a new outlet store near me, and it's a Tommy Hilfiger, and it was very reasonable. It's lightweight. It's not real heavy for summer, so... I'm really loving it. It's the first time I've worn it today. All right, so that looks pretty good. I'm looking, I still can see my capillaries a little bit, so I may want to end up either putting a little more of this product on, which I guess I'll do. I don't have a concealer I'm trying out today. So we'll just put a little bit more like that in the corner. What I love is this feels great in my under eyes. I'm not going to even use a concealer under the eyes. Before I go on, I want something on my lips. I hate looking at my lips without anything on. This is CoverGirl's new lipstick. I love the packaging. It reminds me of some I've seen that are much more expensive. It's sort of like a lucite, plasticky kind of packaging. This is their new lipstick in the shade Darling Kiss. Hmm. I like the way this feels on the lips. I'm not usually the biggest fan of CoverGirl lipsticks, but I like the way this feels. I'm going to leave this on while I do my makeup, but I'm going to take it off later because Benefit came out with a new lip tint, and I love their lip tints. I started wearing them again a couple of years ago, and they're long-lasting, which is great when you're going out away from the house for a long period of time and you don't have time to touch your lips up. So I really want to try that out today. Next, let's do the eyes. I recently bought this brow pencil from ColourPop. It's super affordable, and what I like is it has that very fine point that uh, Anastasia pencils have. So if you need to draw in hair, you can lightly draw it in. Like, I'm going to give a little extra brow in this area. The transition between the front into the arch 
is a little thin for me. It's always been like that. So I'm just going to build that up a little bit. Do you start at the tail or at the front of the brow? Sometimes I start at the front, but I do like to build the tail the most. I like this color. It's taupe, which is a great shade for my brows. It seems to match really well. I like this pencil. It's super creamy feeling, and it does have a little spoolie. I love that they started putting spoolies on all these pencils. You don't have to grab for one with your makeup brushes, so I really like that. Next, we're going to try out these new sticks from CoverGirl. They're called CoverGirl Clean Eye Color, and I bought two shades. I'm going to use this as a liner. We're going to try that out. This is the lighter shade, which is called Sky Dust. Let's try this on the lid. Oh, this is pretty. Boy, this really does glide nicely. Now, Refer sent me some brushes recently. I'm going to use this one, the 15, because it's really fluffy, perfect for blending this out. Oh my gosh, if these last, I think these are as great as any high-end eyeshadow pencil I've ever used. This went on like butter. I am not kidding you. Look at this. Now, this would make a great liner, too. If you're not a fan of that much shimmer all over the eyes, then I say use it as an eyeliner. It's what they call a lazy girl eyeliner because it's just so easy to blend out. It's no effort at all. Wow, this really is effortless eyeshadow. I am loving it. Let's try the deeper shade. This one is called French Violet. Ooh, I like the idea of that mixture. I don't know if this is going to show up next to this. They're fairly close shades. Shows up a little bit. I could have used something a little deeper than this. Now what I want to do to open my eyes up a little more is go in the outer third on the bottom just to give a little more definition to the eyes. Wow, those glide so beautifully. I hope they last all day because these are gorgeous and would replace any high-end pencil I would ever buy. Wow, cover girl, it looks like they hit a home run, but we'll see. I just keep staring at these pencils. They're amazing. Now, this is Win Beauty, and it's by Serena Williams. I went ahead and bought the mascara. I wanted to try it out. The brush is, um, you know, the plasticky kind of brush, and it's got a little arch to it, and then a flat side. So let's see how this grabs my lashes. I don't have great lashes, which I'm the perfect person to try this out because they always pick these people with these amazing lashes and anything's going to look good on them. But if it looks good on me, then I know it will look great for most women. Sometimes as we age, I haven't hit this yet, but I used to hear my mom talk about it a lot and I did her makeup sometimes so I could see she had less eyelashes as she got older, and so she almost felt like, why bother? But even if you have less eyelashes, I think you can really step it up with mascara. I am enjoying the way this is going on. It's going on easily. The texture of it is not clumping my lashes or anything. The brush seems to be able to get down low into the lash line, like I can really grab under here, which is what really makes a difference. If you can grab those underneath lashes, then the look's going to be a lot better. One of the reasons I bought this, it's a tubing mascara. I love tubing mascaras, and what a tubing mascara does is the formula forms a tube around your own lash and you don't get flaking, you don't get all this mess all day. 
So these tubing mascaras, I wish they had them sooner in my teaching career because there are many times when I finally got a break to go to lunch or run to the restroom, I could see my makeup was messed up. And I would always come back and say to the kids, why didn't you tell me? Why did you let me go around like that? I said, that's like letting somebody walk around with toilet paper stuck to their shoe. Don't do that. That actually happened to me one time. I had toilet paper stuck on my shoe. And this lady, I was in Marshall, she was so sweet. She told me and I was like, oh, thank you for saving me more embarrassment. <laughs> All right, so let's go and try this Maybelline. This is actually a blush, but this one looks very bronzy. Let's see the shade, number 12, Summer in the City. It's definitely summer here already. I'm going to go right on the cheek. I have tried this. This is a super thin formula. It feels very watery. It's not uh, creamy like the e.l.f. camo blushes. This is almost like a Daniel Sandler watercolor blush kind of feel. And I really like it. Look at how pretty that is. I tried this yesterday, or no, day before yesterday, and I just thought it was so nice. I'm just going to take a little bit of it and bronze up top. That is beautiful. I love that. But I do have a blush I want to add on top, and normally I wouldn't do that in a wear test, but I just have to try this. It's the Buttermilk Blush from NYX. I haven't even opened the packaging yet, but I tried their bronzer a while back and loved it. I just thought it was great. I've shown it before. And so I was so excited to order the blush. And the shade I bought is Shimmering Coral. And I thought that would be really pretty with what I'm wearing today. And it does have a shimmer to it. Look at how pretty just the package is. There's the shade really nice. I'm going to just, wow, that packs a punch of color. Let's see if we can blend that out now. Wow, you don't need much of this. I'm just going to tap into it very lightly with my refer brush. Wow, that's so pretty. Nick seemed to hit a home run with this formula of buttermilk that they've come out with. Let's go ahead now and put on some powder. This is the Sephora Collection Powder. This is called their Micro Smooth Powder, and I bought the shade Beige Light Yellow. It's supposed to add some radiance, and I thought this would be great in the under eye. I was trying to see if this would be a good replacement for the Pat McGrath powder I'm so fond of. I'm going to use this puff and just sort of go over my skin a little bit. And let's go in the under eye. See if this adds a little bit of brightness. I wanted to mention, I'll have my earrings linked in the description of the video. I have been on an earring kick lately. I think I've ordered maybe six new pair of earrings from Amazon. They were all around $13 each. And they're just so pretty. They just give any outfit you're wearing, a little lift, a little something. Wow, I am loving this powder. I like the way it feels on my skin. I think this would be a great possible dupe for uh, the Pat McGrath I love. I'm going to even put a little bit on this refer brush just to blend the edges of my eyeshadow. That's what I was using the Pat McGrath for, doing that to smooth out edges. That worked nicely. And bring it up under the brow. I'm even going to take a little bit and get a different brush and put a little in the corner of my nose. See if that sort of takes care of those capillaries. This is another thing you can do. A lot of makeup artists do finger powdering where they put a little bit of powder on their ring finger, an area 
any area where they feel they need it, they just tap it on. So you could do that. Another thing you could do is just take a clean eyeshadow brush, go into the powder, and then go into areas where you feel you need the coverage. I like to do that when I'm all done because there's these little areas that need a little extra something. Somebody asked me in the comments last week, do you regret cutting your bangs? And I have to say, yes, I do regret it. What I've always loved about bangs is it's like free Botox. Where I have the most lines is in my forehead. I've always had lines there from just being so expressive. And you can imagine being in theater, being in a classroom with children all the time. I'm very expressive and animated with them. So I have some deeper fine lines. I don't want to do Botox. So bangs are a great alternative. But the problem is where I live. It's so windy here and I film dance videos on the beach with my husband and, and it's sometimes just so windy out there and the bangs are too short to pin down and have them look right and they're just flying everywhere. So I'm growing them out. They've gotten a little bit longer now and it helps because the weight of it keeps my bangs down. I have super baby fine textured hair. So the wind catches it really easily. I'm really happy with this look, even the lipstick. I think the lipstick is a beautiful shade, but I'm gonna wipe it off because we're gonna try the Benefit. I love lipstick, it's my favorite makeup product. Will you let me know in the comments which product is your favorite? I just think lipstick can just change a whole look. And this shade that I picked is Fresh Squeezed. Oh boy, this is going to be a little bright, it looks like. I couldn't even remember what I ordered. Not really. It looks pretty soft now that I'm looking at it. Mm, it does have a scent to it, a fruity scent. I think it's really pretty. It's... Um, called their Moisturizing Dewy Lip Tint. So it's supposed to be more moisturizing, which is great for mature skin. I'm looking and it has a nice shine to it. I'm seeing a little bit of patchiness. So I'm gonna let this dry and then put like another layer on before I leave the house. But I'll let you know at the end whether I ended up liking it or not. So it's 5.52 in the morning. I'm going to go finish uh, having breakfast and a little bit of coffee. And then I'm headed off to school. And I'll see you this evening. And we'll take a look at the makeup. I'm back from work. I've been gone 11 hours. So let's see how the makeup held up. I put this on, what, it's 6 in the morning. And now it is 5 in the afternoon. In a minute it will be. Now the foundation I think held up great. Let's take a closer look at it. I can still see the color beautifully. It's not patchy. It doesn't look like it's puddled in my pores. Now I did notice during the day a little bit of collection in this fine line and I just sort of patted it out. There was just too much product there and it was super hot. I was outside for a little while with my class. I think if I had had a setting spray, that would not have happened. But otherwise, I didn't have any collect in the under eye area where I didn't put concealer, where I just put the MAC. So I'm a real fan of this. I love the way it feels on my skin. It's just fantastic. Now the blush, the NYX blush, it's still there, isn't it? It looks great. That's wonderful for 11 hours. I think this is beautiful. It's very affordable. I think it's fantastic. Let's take a look at the eyes. The quality of these pencils rivals the high-end ones that I've tried, the Bobbi Brown, the Laura Mercier, all these. These are fantastic. They just really stayed. I didn't even use eyeshadow primer, so I think that's wonderful. The Maybelline blush was beautiful. I think it looked great under the skin. I'll have to show it again when I'm not putting a blush on top, but I feel like this would last. I still see it up here where I placed it earlier, and I didn't even put that much of it. 
So I love the way this feels on the skin. It's just so lightweight. It's not as thick as these other uh, cream products that I've tried before. When I take the brush, it just pats out to such a natural finish. I think it's just so pretty. Now it does have a little sparkle in it, but it's so super, super tiny. So I think it's beautiful and gives that bronzy look that most of us love. The mascara, I think it's fantastic. I don't see it in the under eyes. I feel like my lashes are curled up really nicely. So I think when I think of the e.l.f. that I use, the lash extender in this, I feel like this formula is a little thinner, like my lashes look lighter and they're more curled. But what I'll have to do is a wear test with the two of those and see which one comes out the winner. But this is great. The big disappointment is the benefit. This lip tint doesn't live up to the other lip tints I've tried from them. I've used most of the other shades. They stay on so nicely. I just feel like I know they were trying for something moisturizing and I get that, but somehow the moisture that they put in it is not giving the longevity that the other products do. I also didn't like sort of the taste of it and the scent. Of course, I've told you I'm very scent sensitive. They really bother me. And this just had a stronger scent. I don't notice it right now, but I can almost taste the product. I think because it's moisturizing, it's sort of coming off my lips and into my mouth. So of all the benefit products I've ever tried, this is one of my least favorites. So I can't recommend this. The CoverGirl lipstick, I really loved it. Let's put a little bit more on. The shade was beautiful. It had much it has much more pigment than the Benefit. And I just love the way it feels on my lips. It's very lightweight. I don't notice any strong scent or anything from it. So I'm a fan of the CoverGirl. The powder. I love this powder. If the Pat McGrath is not something you want to purchase or spend that much on, I think this is a great alternative. I'm going to put a little bit more on. It's been so many hours, but I love it. It does brighten up a little bit. This yellow one that I got, the beige light yellow, and it is very smooth, like they say. So I'm loving this powder. I think it's so nice, and it feels to me, I'll have to look at the weight of the Pat McGrath, but this feels like I get a lot more product. There's more to it. So I'm really loving this. Sephora brand is amazing. They have so many great products. I wish I had discovered them sooner. They're sort of new in my collection, but I'm loving everything I've purchased. I did want to mention that these refer brushes I used in the video were sent to me recently, and they are beautiful. So many of you have written me and said how much you love refer. They run these sales all the time that are amazing. So I'll try to let you know when they have one, but they are just super soft. The other thing I noticed about the refer brushes is that they dry quickly. When I wash other brushes that I have that are say from the drugstore versus this brush, it just dried really fast after I washed it compared with the others. And I mean, just look, look at how soft that is. It just feels so good. You just want to almost just tap your skin with something, with powder or something, just because it feels so nice. Just super, super, super soft. The Refer Sponge, I really like it. Again, they are great about making things feel good and soft. This is a very soft sponge. So I will watch for you for when they have sales because this is just fantastic too. So we did pretty good today. I think everything was a success except for the benefit. I wish I liked it more. I just feel like their original ones that I've bought are so much better. And I did like the hydration of it, but again, it wore off quickly. The scent was sort of off-putting, so that's why I didn't like it. And it's a shame because the packaging, all of it is just so cute. 
Let me know if you've tried it. Maybe you like it and you can share some information with everyone. And I'd love to hear which product was your favorite today or if you've tried some new makeup that you're enjoying. So many times I'll go out and purchase something because you write me and you say, Laura, you need to try this. It's really great. I appreciate you all so much. All of the links, as usual, are in the description of the video. I hope you have a blessed week, and I look forward to seeing you real soon.